These harmless-looking Afghan puppies have caused millions of deaths worldwide. Russia and the U.S. have teamed up to crack down on drug producers in Afghanistan. As a result of joint operations, a number of major labs were destroyed there. But there is a stark difference in how Russia and the U.S. see the solution to the problem. Metaphorically speaking, instead of destroying the machine gun nest, they suggest catching bullets flying from the machine gun. We suggest eradicating narcotic plants altogether. As long as there are opium poppy fields, there will be trafficking. As simple as that. But the U.S. and other NATO countries have no intention to eradicate Afghan poppy fields once and for all. They say Afghans need opium puppies to survive. Another inconsistency. The U.S., together with the Colombian government, eradicates 200,000 hectares of coca bushes a year. In Afghanistan, only 2,000 hectares of poppy fields are being eradicated, a hundred times less. Apart from the refusal to get rid of the puppies, there is the alleged interest of international banks in dirty money. Narcotics have nearly as much share in the total world trade as oil and gas. The head of Russia's drug enforcement suggested U.S. and European banks tacitly welcome and encourage the inflow of drug money. Reports show that a persistent lack of liquidity and an aspiration to survive during a crisis promote not only tolerance toward criminal money, but also an encouraging attitude of availability of such money. There was silent consent in the U.S. audience to the Russian proposal to stop the banks from laundering drug money. We can interdict and seize tons of narcotics. We can make arrests of traffickers, but we really need to choke off the funds that uh, supply this. There was also a sense of doubt whether Western authorities can actually take on those very powerful financial institutions. The U.S. and other NATO countries are obviously not into the idea of eradicating Afghan poppy fields altogether. Besides, international banks don't seem to mind the huge inflow of dirty money. But experts say that the status quo would lead to millions more dying in the future, deaths which could be prevented. I'm going to shut down reporting from Washington. RT.